Pheromones are chemicals released by the body and used by animals to stimulate and attract a sexual partner. But the existence and role of pheromones in humans is still heavily debated. But that still hasn't stopped people from having pheromone parties where they set up blind dates based on the smell of the dirty clothes of other people that they like. So today we're going to run some tests of our own to see how Mitch and Greg react to the scents of others as well as learn more about the science behind scent and pheromones. Hey guys, so we are here with my sister Kim today who is a relationship therapist and has her own channel on YouTube called Ask Kimberly and we thought it'd be a little fun to do some science with Kim today. So in my opinion, as a relationship therapist, I think that we need to be open to finding love in all avenues, but we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with this whole pheromone party concept to see if it worked for Mitch and Greg. So I brought a bunch of dirty laundry from my <laughs> friends and family members, and we're gonna get Mitch and Greg to smell it while blindfolded. Okay, I so. have a fitting um, survivor buff to cover <laughs> my face while Greg just has a shadow. Mine's really high tech. <laughs> I feel like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix in the third one after he burns his eyes off. <laughs> Okay, guys, are you ready for yeah. the first yeah. shot? I think so. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh, you okay. Just get one and oh my just gosh. take a just deep a, inhale. A deep inhale? Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it smells like a house, like my parents' house. <laughs> really? This one's very sharp. <laughs> so can you describe the person who might wear this shirt? Like, if you can picture them? Clean. <laughs> I think it's someone who's like organized and clean, but like doesn't, you know, have too much of a scent. So they're like, you know, a good person. <laughs> I feel like this person like worked out in this shirt, so I don't know if the, all the shirts will be even or not, but like it depends how many times this person wore this shirt in a row. While scientists have had some success using body odors to elicit responses in other humans, they still haven't been able to pinpoint specific chemicals. Things like sweat can indeed affect the reproductive readiness of another human being. Being, but no single chemical cue creates a strong or consistent enough behavior response to be flagged as a human pheromone. Mine smells like um, cheese crackers. <laughs> this one's a little sweeter. Like it's this one actually. This person didn't work out. In oh this no! Show. Smell the armpit. Oh, Maybe yeah. get right in there. Oh god! Someone on the go. Someone who's had a cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird, Greg. Ew. I don't, yeah, this person smells like they had a, a busy day, but they were still like clean and they, they had their shower and they used their deodorant and they were good. <laughs> Studies have shown that babies are attracted to the scent of their mother's breast over the scent of other females. As well, people who smelled the scent of skydivers versus runners were more accurately able to pick out faces of menacing people, potentially primed by the chemical odor of anxiety. As well, women prefer the scent of men whose genetic makeup is further from their own. This increases the likelihood of having offspring with a healthy immune system. This one's a little more plain. Oh, not there. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I, I there was a segment. Oh this wow. This nice. Okay. I can, I can smell that one from over here. Greg's or mine? <laughs> no, you are. No, it smells that okay. Great. Oh, I smelled it when I was picking it up too. Okay, yeah, that one's real sweaty. This person's a professional. Okay. <laughs> like this smelled like a workout shirt. Like someone was at the gym with this shirt. Is what it smelled like, or doing something physically active. Okay. <laughs> is it yours, Kim? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm worried to embarrass you. Be like, oh, I, Kim. If you did say that, I would not admit that it was mine. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's like not, a nice like not. pink dress, You're like, nope! <laughs> <laughs> on top of complementary DNA, in studies on both gay men and straight men, not so surprisingly, gay men preferred the smell of other gay men, and straight men preferred the smell of women while taking blind smell tests. Ooh, yum! Oh my god, it smells so good, I wanna eat this. I, I think this, uh, this is either, this kind of smells like our home. Oh, that part's not so great. <laughs> but it, it mostly it actually smells okay. This smells amazing. This smells like a candle. This smells like an Herbal Essences commercial. <laughs> really? Do those still exist? <laughs> I'm so into this. This is my favorite. <laughs> this one's What's like feminine? very neutral. Like I, I think I can deal with this. There's nothing... Even the worst isn't, the, isn't that bad. I think this person is, I don't know, this was just definitely more preferable. I think maybe the most preferable so far. Oh, okay. I think mine would be someone who, I think they like wear like perfume, kind of like fresh, feminine, smelling thing going on. I would be this person's friend. I would tell her all my secrets. 
The amount of odors that a person emits on a daily basis is vast. Essentially, we produce a large cloud of diverse smells every day. And because of this, it's very hard for scientists to study exactly how these smells work. When it comes to other animals, though, pheromones have very specific defined roles. For example, male lemurs have stink bites in which they secrete different scents from their wrists and shoulders, and then use their tail to kind of waft it around and essentially compete with the smell of other male lemurs. And they do this for territory, food, and as well, sexual reproduction. Some Ew. <laughs> this one's kind of damp. <laughs> like, is it wet? Are you giving me a wet shirt, Kim? <laughs> no. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. This smells like this is the worst one. <laughs> but, I mean, it smells like a boy. So, like... This smells like a boy, too, but... I this smells know. like celery and cheese whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, like, a good snack in context, but I don't want to close Not in your nose. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they did like any crazy serious like activity in it because it's not like overly smelly. Okay. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Is, is it, it you? Is it you? <laughs> Mine's a bro. Yours is a bro. Okay. Mine's like a bro who's just like, yo, bro, get the Cheetos, bro. <laughs> and like, this is not his business attire. This is his. This like, is like his. This is his like home around. lounging celery and cheese whiz attire. <laughs> so next item, secret <laughs> item, Greg, you're first. Okay. Ew. <laughs> what is it? Ew. <laughs> Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> but in a weird way. What is that? Oh. It's I, really I bad. Know, I think I know what this is. Yeah, me too. What, a dirty sock? No, I think <laughs> it's a piece of hockey equipment. Oh. It reminds me of like a locker room. Like someone's like a jock strap or something. Oh Wait. my god, Kim, is it a jock strap? <laughs> okay. This is actually a hockey glove. Oh, a glove. Oh, a glove. Wow. Okay, guys, so which one's your favorite? This one. Okay, I picked this one. Perfect. Okay, take off your blindfolds now. That's oh! mine! <laughs> Did That's you know? Weird. This no. one's yours. Oh, oh my no, God. we're so in love. Yay! Whoa. Yay! Pick each other. That's that's funny. Wait, I what does mine smell like? Yours smells Consider you worked out in it. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. No, I, I would them. run in this. Yeah, I guess because we probably also are so used to each other's smell, they smell like muted, yeah. right? Because we're always by each other. The other day, this was wet. <laughs> like, and I came back. Yeah, so yeah. we actually are probably just like so used to it so as used well. To it. And yeah. also, I guess, preferred. Oh my god, we picked each other. I was so, I was so, I thought I was going to pick yours. Me we too. I <laughs> thought <laughs> this was... Whose is this? Oh, it's the blind boy. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it, like, that's, what does it mean that we picked each other? Well, I mean, it turns out that our, the pheromone party idea might just work. <laughs> I know, right? that's weird. I guess it's a little confounded because we're already in a relationship, right? Yeah. So yeah. We, we know each other and probably are used to, but... And we're just both so clean, you freaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this concludes our smell test. But before you go, we've actually done a video over on Kim's channel called Ask Kimberly, where we talk more about relationships, specifically gay and queer relationships, and we answer some of the burning questions you guys have had, because Kim is a relationship expert. So click the annotation, or we'll put a link in the description below for you to check that out. You can also follow us all on Instagram and Twitter, and of course, subscribe to ASAP Thought, and we will see you over on Kim's channel. Bye! Bye.